Oh my God, guys, y'all gotta get a slab of ribs and try that. Oh my God. There's a guy out there that slaps his meat paws. That was a super paws, a super nope, did he? But there's a guy out there that gets a rack of ribs and he slaps it or some chicken that slaps it and he barbecues it. But uh, I don't have a smoker or a barbecue grill. I think I do downstairs, but I don't know. But we're gonna fry these bad boys. Let's get it. Take your slab of ribs, cut the plastic off, clean it up a little bit, and let's cut it in individual pieces. Now you wanna season your ribs how you want. I'm a fan of Tupperwares and Ziploc bags when I fry foods. It's just easier, guys. Go ahead and get you one of those and then add you some flour in it. I've seen people treat this recipe like fried chicken, so we're going to add a little cornstarch, just a little bit. And then you season your flour to your liking. Some people say don't season it. I say, oh my God, they're wrong. Let's mix this bad boy together. Place as many as you can in your Tupperware. And then we're going to shake it on up. Now, one thing I do when I fry foods is I press the flour on there hard. Make sure it's coated. It's flour down, ain't it? Ooh so I got some leftover oil that I'm about to use. We're at 365. Let's go ahead and drop our ribs in here. Oh my God. Cooking these ribs a total of maybe nine to ten minutes max. You know what I mean? Depending on how thick your rib is, pause. It really does depend how thick your rib is. This is what we are looking for. Make sure to season in there. Real cook. You know where the recipe at. We got fried ribs for the win. 